All right, so today looks like someone broke into the shop and took a bunch of tools, went through my car, tried to take things out of it. So it looks like whoever it was had took a hammer, started beating on the tool chest, opened it up, got what they needed, and then decided to go through my car. And <clears throat> looks like they started taking parts off, but never got all the way around to it. Maybe the dogs freaked them out. So anyways, looks like they took this hammer started beating up the uh, toolbox over here. They opened, right, they were able to open this one up and take all the tools out. There was a couple impacts. They cleared out the tool bag. They took off with the radio and whatever was on top of the toolbox. Looks like they were actually gonna take the whole toolbox because that thing was against the wall. It's probably too heavy for them to wheel out. Just really sucks because now I have to take time out of my day to see what's going on. I already called the police, filled up a report. Whoever it was tried to get into the car and take some things out of it. I don't know if they successfully got anything, but looks like they were trying to pull the gauges out. I noticed that I have my factory radio there, but the one I was going to put in, I can't find it. So they must have taken off with that. They didn't take the gauges, luckily. But that sucks. Looks like everything's there. Looks like they were digging around in the trunk because this definitely was tucked back over there. Looks like they pulled it forward. So maybe trying to pull the, oops, pull the compressor and the tank out. Um, but nothing looks missing. I mean, all I have is the battery and the strut bar. I think they probably didn't take anything out of here. Yeah, this one's good. Not very happy right now. So I'm gonna go around the lot and see if somebody possibly hopped the fence or broke in, something like that. This is freaking annoying, I don't wanna do this, but I gotta take precautions. So this looks like it could have been a weak point. I gotta make sure they didn't take anything out of this piece of shit. Yeah, this one looks all right. So as much as the situation sucks, I'm glad they didn't take more than they did, or at least that I've seen so far. At least what they took wasn't anything that was irreplaceable. Um, it does suck. Gonna have to get new tools, gonna have to get, you know, the boost gauge and everything put back together. Not big deal. But the fact that somebody has the nerve to jump the fence, risk getting bit by two big ass dogs, just for some tools. Anyways, so this Sunday we're going to be putting the IS on the lift. We're going to be finishing up the brake lines, the fuel lines, and hopefully getting the car on the road. I'm sure a lot of you have had broken into, and I would love to hear your stories. If you want to write a little comment or something telling me what you did to prevent the situation, or if you caught somebody stealing your stuff, or if somebody jacked your stuff and just pissed you off, just let me know. I would love to hear other people's stories. This is so annoying. Oh well. Y'all, so I was driving by this laundromat and I just found out they have like my favorite arcade game in there, so I'm gonna go play it. I used to play that game on N64 way back in the day, and I still have it, but it's just something about playing like an old school arcade game that just makes it that much better. Close call, this fucking dude just smashed into this truck, and he almost hit me. Oh my god. So yeah, it's been a long eventful day, dealing with the police, dealing with the theft, finally going home. <laughs>